and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a Four Kids at 147, and it's whipping chat time. Um, so I've decided for today's whip and chat to start on my Nabi rose. So it's a rose image from a Nabi store, Nabi official store on AliExpress. It's one that I, if you want to see what it is in full, I have done a kitten up video on it in this past week. So that is available for you all to see. But I thought this was something that I can do sort of a, a nice size on. I may spread out and start doing a second part. Um, it will sort of depend on how long this video goes on for. Because I've got a few to get ready for this upcoming week. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be nice to work on a square. I do know that I still have my heaven and earth designs um, that need some work on. Um, but I do, I, I also have quite a, a few paintings and stuff on the go um, and quite a few that I've kit up recently. I'm just moving my washi tape out of the way because this is sort of my first line of squares and they just needed to nudge up a little bit. I think the washi tape was a bit, um, a bit too in the way. So I do take a little bit more care when I am starting a row of squares. See that one sort of fell onto the onto the diamond painting a bit quicker. So I just want to make sure that they are sort of level and straight when I first start the painting because that can have an effect on how straight it is for the rest. But these are quite nice snug fitting diamonds actually by the looks of it. I think I may have nudged things a bit too far at the beginning. You sort of get a rhythm after a while of working with squares with how they nestle into each other and and how close they need to be. Um, some sellers I find they need to be closer than others. Um, some have a, a very, very slight gap around the diamonds and some don't. They sort of nestle in. So it takes takes a little bit to sort of get used to which seller you're working with. But so far, the quality on these looks pretty good. I do have quite a lot of one colour on this. So we have got quite a lot of 939 to start off with. I haven't sort of preloaded this pen with wax it's dealing with whatever wax I had in it already so I might need to load it up with some better wax in a bit but let's see how we go might need to reload it it's been a while since I used this pen I sort of try and vary them up every now and then for each painting and this one is blue and pink so while the background of this image of a rose is a lot of blue. I thought it would be a suitable pen to use for this painting, so why not? Um, this is a painting that has a lot of W's and M's very close to each other, so I am needing to pay attention as to whether it is a W or an M. And for the first few rows, for definite, I do like to just go in straight lines and make sure that they're all lined up quite nicely. Sometimes I do then like to vote, go a bit crazy and do every other square just to vary things up a bit. But I tend to find that that is, is more once I've got a feel for the diamonds and the diamond painting. I've, I've recently just done at least three on the run, if not more, that were round. So I haven't done a square for a while. As that's the case, I'm just going to stick with straight lines for now and I may vary it up when I'm working on it otherwise, especially with such blocks of colour. If I find that I'm getting a little bit bored or it's feeling a little bit monotonous, then I'll vary things up. Quite often I also like to sort of do uh, an L shape so I feel as, or sometimes even all the way around, so I feel as though it's getting a 
a smaller and smaller amount each time I go. It's just a matter of mixing things up a little bit so it feels a little bit better. So I hope you're all having a very, very good week or as best a week as you can. We are, of course, in the lockdown in the UK, so we're not, you know, living life large at the moment. We are sort of getting on with things. I suppose it gives us more time for diamond painting and being with our close family, i.e. those that live in the same household. So that's always good. I do have my drink as well, and I'm trying to make sure that I drink that while it's hot. Um, yeah, so I don't, I'm hoping you are having the best week that you can. I've been back at work this week. I was off the week before. And Monday morning, very early hours of Monday morning, our internet went off. And actually didn't come back up till Tuesday afternoon. So all I had was my internet data on my phone, which became very close to me not you know, to me having to switch videos around Tuesday and Wednesday's video. If I'd have had to upload the video over my mobile data, I would have chosen to upload the smaller video because Tuesday's was quite a bit longer. Uh, but the internet got fixed in time for me to upload. I think it was it was either a preparation or a breakdown. I think it was a breakdown video, um, which is a bit longer than an unboxing video. So they very nearly got switched, but luckily the internet got fixed. However, it did mean that I couldn't return to work for another day and a half. That's a shame, isn't it? Um, I was still of course contactable for work I was still in work time so while I did do a bit of diamond painting I had my of course sort of teams communication app open all the time and at the time we weren't sure when the internet was going to be coming back on it, it went off for my manager as well, so there was the two of us with no internet, so we figured it was a more of a network thing. Um, we both had the same internet provider, so we figured it was a network thing, and we were just waiting for them to fix it, and has come back online. Turns out, while it was a network thing that had caused the initial outage, the initial power surge or outage that had happened, I'm not sure if it was a power surge, to be honest. While it knocked out the internet, it also did cause a problem with our modem or router box, whichever one it's called. Um, and in turn, it had actually damaged something in that. So even though the network had fixed it, it didn't fix it for us because we ended up with a second problem. So it was only when the engineer came out the following day that it got fixed. But internet is back up and running. Um, does make me realise that when I do have videos done, because Tuesday's video was filmed at the weekend, I just hadn't finished editing and uploading it. Um, it did make me realise that once the videos are done, at least get them up onto YouTube, bare minimum as quick as you can, because then I can edit it on my phone if I needed to. But it all worked out in the end. Um, I got a little bit more time to diamond paint, which is not a bad thing, but then of course work was crazy for the rest of the week because I was playing a little bit of catch up. But anyway, it's the weekend again. Um, filming this the day before you're watching it, so I'm filming this on the Saturday for upload on the Sunday trying to be prepared. I have a lot of videos to get ready for this next coming week. In fact, I think every video that's coming up this next week, I need to get ready. Um, but I'm being very productive and I'm doing them in order. So I'm determined to do them in the order that they need to be, um, rather than picking and choosing what I fancy doing. 
because sometimes there are videos that I prefer doing to others. I've got a kitting up that I'm itching to do and I'm like, I'm not doing it until it's, until it's the time that it's going up. So I've got a few kitting up videos coming over the next couple of weeks. Next Sunday, so a week from the day you're seeing this, there will not be a whip and chat. There's no whip and chat scheduled. However, there is an advent calendar preparation scheduled. So I'm going to try and keep the whip and chats regular, not necessarily a guaranteed each week, but they are going to be regular. But next Sunday is advent calendar preparation. So I have mine ready. And I hope you guys all have your advent calendar ready or a diamond painting for you to use for your advent calendar. Doesn't have to be Christmas themed. In fact, I'm pretty sure mine isn't. It doesn't have to be a mystery painting like mine is. It can be any diamond painting that you want to do. It can be any size. However, do bear in mind your own schedule and how likely you are to get a section done before you do it. I tend to do a 30 by 40 in the hope that it's sort of, you know, between half an hour and an hour to do a section per day. Now, that's partly because mine is a whip and chat every day. So I've also got to think of the fact that I've got to find a topic to discuss for that length of time, every single day from the 1st of December up until the 24th. And then the 25th of September, there will be no video up on my channel. So that will be a day that we are having a rest. If you want videos to watch, there are plenty of backdated videos in my playlist, many of them, in fact, if not all of them, are still all pretty relevant. Of course, whip and chats may be a little bit different, or you can play a bit of catch up, maybe if you want to watch YouTube, but maybe you've had a busy week leading up to Christmas. You can always have a little bit of um, catch up on some videos that you've missed there'll be no video up for Christmas Day. Other than that, there will be videos every day of the week, as there seems to have been for a bit. It's a little bit of a pause, but it's become a pattern. It's become a pattern that I'm happy with. And it, it sort of, the, the new schedule I find is working very well for me. So I have a schedule now where there is unboxings three days a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And apart from that, there's no necessary commitment to videos any other day of the week. I just keep drinking my breath. Um, I don't have a commitment to what videos are other days of the week. But I try to do a whip and chat on a Sunday, unless... There's something that I've planned and scheduled. So, for example, next Sunday is Advent Calendar Preparation. Because I want to make sure that you have at least another weekend to prepare your Advent Calendar if you don't, if it's not something you have a chance to do during the week. So you can either do it along with me next Sunday, or you can fit it in through the following week. Or you can fit it in the following weekend if you are a weekday worker. You've got just over a week before we actually start the advent calendar. So there should be a time period in there, hopefully, that if you're wanting to join in, you can do it. If anybody is really eager on getting their advent calendar prepared before that video is due to go up, by all means, check out my playlist for last year's advent calendar because I'm following the same sort of scheme. I don't think I'm particularly kitting it up in any different way. I can't tell you for definite. I've not done it yet. <laughs> it's sat here as, as one of the videos that we'll need doing this weekend or next. Um, 
Yeah, but it, it's basically following the same sort of lines of dividing your painting into 24 sections. So by all means, check the preparation for last year's advent calendar if you want to be one step ahead. Or maybe you've got more time now than you're going to have next week and the week after. Before December rolls around already, because I don't quite know where that has... Where, where it's come from. I can't even tell you where most of the months of 2020 have gone. But anyway, the giveaway went up for fan cells. If you've not seen that, if you don't tend to watch the unboxings, it's worth look watching the unboxing for fan cells that went up this Friday. Fan cells Friday. Uh, there is a giveaway for YouTube viewers and that winner will be um, selected next week. So the competition will stop next Friday, the 20th, I think it's next Friday. Anyway, next Friday, as soon as the new fan cells video goes up, the old competition will be no more. So good luck to everybody that has entered. And there's quite a few at the moment, at the time I'm filming this, there is quite a few that have entered, so I hope that, you know, whoever is the winner is very happy with the prize that they'll get. So I'm still working on the 939s here. I'm trying to think what else I was going to discuss in the whip and chat today. I'm sure I'll come up with something. Let me just get going on this next sort of stretch. So yeah, let's chat about what videos are coming up for the next week, just so that you have, you know, an interest of what to keep your eye out for. I'm hoping that there's some in there for everybody. So we have, of course, this whip and chat today. We do have an unboxing for tomorrow. As usual and um, this one the one for tomorrow is actually from a company that I've not had paintings from before so be a little bit of difference there for you I've got a preparation video coming up in the next week and that's on top of the advent calendar preparation because that will be right at the end of the week there is also a de-kitting video as well for people who like the de-kittings there is, of course, another Fan Cells Friday. Oh, I also have a video that I will be doing using a blank round canvas. So it's just a, a few things that we're thinking. It's, it, it's all mulling round in the head and the video needs to be ready for next Saturday. I think it's next, yeah, next Saturday. Um, it needs to be ready for then, but it's not been done yet, so it's not been finalised. But there is some stuff coming up with a blank round canvas, and we're going to do a couple of different things with it, with the idea of using either your spare diamonds, so your spare round diamonds, or in turn your spare diamonds that don't have DMC numbers. I think that's what I'll be using for them, but that's just because it's easier than going through all my spares boxes because it, a particular colour is not required. So it can be universal. You don't have to have a certain spare DMC colour of diamond or even a certain shade. The idea is that you can make what you want, is the idea. So that'll be a video... I'm hoping to get that one done over this weekend or filmed, or at least the bulk of it filmed over this weekend because it's it's not one that I can safely say I can get done on a Saturday morning and edited and uploaded and ready for YouTube. So if I get that done this weekend, then I don't have to panic over it. And it will make me do it because the video I'll be doing after is my advent calendar preparation. And I'm quite excited for doing that. Yeah. 
So that's another thing. Uh, by making sure that I'm, I'm preparing my videos in order. Not that I always do, sometimes I just do the videos depending on how much mess they're making in my craft room. So sometimes I like to de-kit before of course I prepare another, another um, canvas. I like to get the de-kitting done so that I can get stuff put away. But sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. So. For today, my plan is to do them in order, or at least film them in order, so that I can get them all edited and up for you guys, so that you can see what I've been up to this weekend. Okay, have I got all the W's? I'm double checking because as I say, there is some M's mixed in with this, and there is quite a lot of blue in this painting sort of the way it works. So what is M? Is that 825 maybe? Where's the M? So W is 939. M is actually 823. Sorry, 825 is a lighter colour. 823, which is another dark blue, but not quite as dark as 939. So we've got a little bit of shading, but not a lot. At least if I accidentally put one in the wrong place, it won't be a bigger deal as it could be. And then my other plans for this week, apart from videos wise, I'm a working. I'm a working from home. I'm trying to get on top of the Christmas shopping, trying to get the kids to finalise what they want, deplete our bank account as they often do, and get their presents ordered. Because even once the UK goes out of lockdown, I can imagine that you know non-essential retail will be heaving with people trying to get their Christmas shopping done. Um, I'm just not all about that life. I think I would much rather this year, for definite, get things ordered and get things done. I'm trying to go for when I'm not sure of what to get somebody. I'm trying to go to places more like Etsy that supports a bit more of an independent retailer. Plus then I know that, you know, whatever I'm buying, they're getting something a little bit different because it is unique and handmade. So I'm hoping to find just some nice and different gift ideas. I also do want to do some diamond painting shopping soon. I have got a couple of things sort of planned for videos for the new year that are a little bit different than my standard. A bit like the um, Alice video I did on different sizes. I want to do you know, some things that are more of a comparison. So I want to do a few of those. But I also want to know, you know, what companies you would like to see or you think would be worth a try especially more independent companies. I have ordered something from a UK company. Is it Windsor Diamond Art or just Windsor UK? UK Diamond Art. Sorry, the memory card saved. Uh, I have ordered something from a UK company. However, I ordered it at the beginning of October and it said shipping was four to six weeks. Um, we are just pretty much hitting the six weeks and I've not had a shipping notification yet. So I'm hoping that that will turn up soon so I can do that as an unboxing video before the new year. But if it doesn't turn up before then, then it's gonna have to wait till the new year. And I'm sure you'll get to see what I've ordered when it finally does arrive. 
but yeah i'd love to know some other companies to try not necessarily uk either as long as they'll ship to the uk they're a company that i'd i want to try a few different ones i have tried dreamers design so i have got that diamond painting in fact that is the diamond painting i'm kitting up this week so i'm quite excited for that theirs did come very quickly they're not the cheapest but i i expect that and i appreciate that some companies are dearer and normally the quality that goes with that is a lot better i have actually decided to order i have ordered recently another painting from diamond art club i'm not fully over the, the disappointment of mama knows best i was very disappointed with the quality in that one I know it was on clearance, but there was nothing in there about it being clearance due to being bad quality. So I was very disappointed with the quality. But when I ordered that one, I actually ordered two. I ordered a Peter Pan and I ordered Mama Knows Best. Mama Knows Best was square. Peter Pan was round, but the round one of Peter Pan was completed by my daughter, Megan. She did that one. So I haven't really experienced what their round paintings are like. And while I love squares, and they're probably the one I lean to as being a little bit more my favourite, there is something to say good about round diamond paintings. Sometimes the shine on the round can be a bit more. And I do like round paintings as well I'm, I'm often doing both and i often try and change things up as well to stop myself getting bored of one type of diamond painting it makes it a little bit different for me squares do take a little bit longer especially when i'm working across like the bottom edge where i do need to make sure that i'm getting it straight I can use a ruler or a credit card or something to help you if that's something that you struggle with but I've been doing them for quite a while now so I've sort of got used to getting them straight um, so yeah I have ordered another painting from Diamond Art Club that's on its way to give them another go it was one that was reduced again but that's because the price otherwise is quite shocking <laughs> to be honest especially if you end up with custom fees when it gets in the UK but it is a big one and I like the image enough to give it another go but I'm always on the lookout for more companies to try so I say do let me know or give me links or post things in the Facebook group of companies that you think are worth a try for me because I want to be able to vary things up. I have also ordered some everlasting tips from Etsy for your diamond painting pens. They are winging their way from Australia. They may take a while. I know the post from there is suffering a little bit, whether it's from there or to there. I know it's taken a while because I did post some items to my mum who lives in Australia and they did take a while. So I'm not expecting those to arrive. I'm hoping they'll arrive this side of Christmas, but I'm not expecting them to arrive in the next two weeks. So the unboxing of those, whenever they do arrive, will definitely be scheduled for end of December slash the new year. But I am quite excited to give them a try. They're not the cheapest, but I have heard very good things. The only thing is if they do turn out to be very good, I have quite a few diamond painting pens. So I might end up changing quite a few, <laughs> quite a few tips. Because I won't want to change my tips between pens. I'm too lazy for that. So I may end up ordering some more, but we'll see how the first lot goes. We'll see if they are loads nicer to work with. I say I have heard very good things, but 
I'm going to reserve full judgment until I've tried them myself and see whether they do make a difference. But anything like that that you may have seen that's a little bit different, please shout out. I don't always get to find the time to browse and look for these kind of things. So unless I hear about them from you guys, I don't often quite get to know. So if there's anybody that has heard of you know anything that's a little bit different or might be good to to do or show on a video by all means shout up and then I can share it with other people who may not have seen this company or been able to try this company etc. I'm all for trying new things and varying up the content that I have Though I do know that you all like the kitting up and the kitting down, etc. Which is why, unless, as happened last week, I don't actually hit the record button on my camera. That's why I try and make sure that I've got everything that I do is kitted up and kitted down on video. And sometimes... There's quite a few that I managed to get through and sometimes I'm working on big projects. That's a bit of a yakky diamond. Let's get rid of that one. And sometimes with working on big projects, there can just be a bit of a gap in between. It depends on how quick I can get some images done. That is one thing for the advent calendar because I'm doing a whip and chat for the advent calendar every day of December, well till the 24th, for the first 24 days of September, it does give me chance when I'm not filming or not doing my advent calendar to get caught up on some of the big ones. So a couple of the, maybe not both of them, but this one with it being a square and with it being a full 40 by 30, rather than the round ones with poured glue that tend to be a little bit smaller. It does take me a bit longer to do. The Dreamers designs that I'm going to kit up is going to take me a bit longer to do because it's square, or at least I'm pretty sure it's square. Yeah, it's square. It's square and it's definitely bigger. It's actually near me here. What size is it? Does it say... Oh yeah, 80 by 60. It's an 80 by 60 painting. So between a 30 by 40 and an 80 by 60, which is of course double that size. And another one that's, that I'm going to kit up is, is actually going to be a round just so that I can change things up a little bit. But it's not a 30 by 40 round, it is bigger. Um, but yeah, the December advent calendar does actually give me a bit of chance to sort of diamond paint and get caught up. And then I'll of course be able to prepare and de-kit de -kit those and prepare more at the end of December, beginning of January. So I'm hoping that the content and that sort of variance will be able to keep up. I do have a cross stitch that I'm still itching to do as well though. I have a chart that I purchased off Etsy, um, a Christmas one, and I have all the stuff. I just have been trying to finish up paintings before I let myself start because I haven't done any cross stitch in a while. So I do feel as though I'm... I'm going to get a little bit carried away with it and I'm probably going to have a few days, I don't think it will be a very long time, but I think I'm going to have a few days where I don't diamond paint because I'm cross stitching and then I'm hoping to vary it up a little bit. So diamond paint for a bit but then, you know, with the leaning over if I'm finding that I'm you know, getting a, a little bit tired maybe sometimes I do get a little bit tired when I'm doing it or my shoulder starts aching the thought is that I can then 
sit back and cross stitch for a bit and I can mix them up but we'll see how well my plans work out okay so this section has a couple of just green squares mixed in with it but there is only two of this colour and then there's two other symbols so there's only one of so I'm just sticking my pen in I'm not going to tip these out into my tray because for the sake of one it's not worth it especially when there's not many in the pot I can use the bottom of the pot to get hold of it okay number four where's number four there yeah because there's only a few I can push against the bottom of the pot that gives me enough grip for my wax to get hold of it but look at that section see can you tell what's happening no um, but that's the first section done um it gave me something to concentrate on while doing a whip and chat with you guys um with some blocks of color so that i actually talked about life and stuff rather than just looking up colors and um, i will have more of my heaven and earth designs to come I think I, yeah, I do have another whip and chat that I'm planning on doing before we start the advent calendar. So maybe I'll make that a whip and chat on the heaven and earth designs. And hopefully I can get a bit more of some of those done over the advent Christmas period so that we can see it come to life a bit more. It's one of those, it's sort of, I still want to do it and I still love doing it and I have every intention of finishing it but it's also not the first thing that I think of doing um, probably because it's got so many colours and I tend to diamond paint in front of the TV but yeah every now and then I think I do need to spend a week or so just working on the heaven and earth design so that it gets a bit of progress and then maybe go back to you know ones that give quicker satisfaction because they finish quicker we'll see how it goes anyway i'll do the next whip and chat with my heaven and earth designs so that you know we've we've got that video in there and we've and we've got some more progress on that before the advent calendar starts but next week will be the advent calendar next sunday so pick out your diamond painting that you fancy doing for that if you're going to join me but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.